I know. You're still dreaming right now. It's okay. Shh. <clears throat> yeah. It's okay. Look at me. Look at me. You are having a bad dream. And I'm... Your consciousness is... Um, <clears throat> creation. To help calm you down. That's right. I am a figment of your imagination. But that's totally okay. It's okay. Shh, shh. I'm here to help. Okay? Now, as we said, as you know, you were having a bad dream. And dreams can... Dreams can feel incredibly intense at times. They can feel preternaturally real. They can be confusing. And I've absolutely woken up before with kind of like existential dread. You know, I remember I actually had a dream <clears throat> where, my, where my own brother uh, died. And I can still remember waking up. I think I was in my teen. I was a teenager, 16, 17. And I remember waking up, and we had, and then our, in our, in our, in our house back in Ohio, uh, my brother and I were really into rock climbing, and uh, we set up like a little uh, uh, rock climbing route under our deck true story, so we could climb up one side of the deck and then crawl across the roof, you know, like, um, like an overhang, and then we could climb down the other side, and uh, I had a dream where he had fallen and died, and when I woke up, there was about, I want to say five minutes, that's probably more than it was, but several minutes of actually being unsure if my brother was alive. Now, of course, he's, he's alive, he's healthy, he's fine. It was all a bad dream, but I get it. And what you are experiencing is the aftershock of a very vivid dream. It's okay. Look at me. Look at me. It's going to be okay. You're going to be okay. You mind if I give you a quick little exam, okay? Just look right at me. I know. I know, even in your dreams, you get a little... Yeah, just look right at me. It's okay. And let me just check you out, all right? Let's go. Right there, good. Excellent. And right there. Yeah. And now just follow the tip of my pen light right here with your eyes. Breathe. Relax. Breathe. Relax. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Just focus on me on the light, okay? Allow the light to gently wash over you. This healing, warm, kind light bathing you, bathing you in safety. serenity. You're safe right now in your warm, cozy bed. I know, but right now you are completely safe in your warm, cozy bed. And every time this light 
gently flashes across your closed eyes. You will feel a deeper sense of calm. Relax. Everything is going to be okay. You're warm and safe. As you calmly lay here, as you calmly, peacefully lay here, I want you to simply start focusing on your breathing. Just noticing your breath. Notice. Don't change it. Notice it. Respiration may be a little higher right now than normal. It's okay. Don't try to calm it right now. Relax. Relax. Don't try to calm your breathing. Simply notice it. And notice how with each breath, relaxation spread down your cheeks simultaneously relaxation floating up like steam over your head it's like this pillow cloud of relaxation floating over your head and like a big pad of butter steaming fluffy pile of pancakes is just melting down around you in a cloud, a cocoon, a cocoon of safety, peace, and serenity. sound of my voice, just following my simple, easy instructions, letting yourself get more and more and more relaxed, because we want you just a dream, and we're going to get back to beautiful dreams, beautiful, peaceful, glorious dreams, where you get to wake up feeling completely refreshed, powerful, in control of your life. Just follow my instructions. We're going to count to five together. And when we get to five, you are going to be a hundred times more relaxed than you are right now. Aren't you? Yes, you are. One. Just 
notice how heavy your eyelids feel. Even in our dreams, notice how heavy our eyelids feel. Notice how heavy your hands feel. Basically, all you can do right now at this level of relaxation Notice your gentle, rhythmic dreaming, breathing, your gentle, rhythmic breathing. Everything's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. As you lay here so completely blissfully, mystery of consciousness and how it's amazing that with all of our modern science our CT scans our MRIs all of this amazing technology that we have we still have no idea where our consciousness comes from maybe it's divine Whatever it is, it certainly is beautiful and special. And you have it, and everybody you know has this amazing ability of self awareness. That's right. And dreams, dreams are funny. As you lay here relaxing, at some point, the conscious mind shuts off. Our conscious mind will eventually turn all the way down. And the subconscious, the unconscious, turns Hallucinating powerfully. There's rumors and suspicions about the causes of dreams and the strange, powerful psychoactive chemicals we have in our own brains that everybody possesses. You have it. My avatar has it. DMT, dimethyltryptamine, and they say that perhaps when we dream, our brain releases a little bit of this DMT, the same substance you find in ayahuasca and these other powerful hallucinogens, is present all the time in our brains. And perhaps when we dream, and we experience these beautiful, sometimes scary, sometimes meaningless and frivolous, sometimes joyful, sometimes profound moments of realization where the subconscious and the conscious mind chit-chat. Was powerful. Revelations, visions. <clears throat> now, from my understanding, the ancient cultures valued dreams much, much more than we do in the modern world. But they were also very aware that some dreams were just sense. Some dreams are just the subconscious dancing around and being silly. And other dreams can have profound insight into 
something we're struggling with, something we may be aware of unconsciously, but don't really want to tackle in our conscious minds, but allowing yourself this peace right now, the space to dream, to be so you have. I'm sure there are many. Pick a favorite place and really put yourself there. Notice how it smells. Notice how the air feels. if you're sitting or standing in your favorite place. Are you resting? Are you laying down? You could be walking in your favorite place. Notice the tips of your fingers. Are they touching anything? same for your feet. Are you, are you barefoot? Are you wearing socks? What can you notice under your feet in this magical place of yours? And you get to spend some time here relaxing. Everything's going to be okay. And remember, if you have another bad dream, I might just get a chance to show up again and help you relax and realize that you're going to be okay and that it was only a bad dream. And you can handle it not made out of glass. You're way tougher than you think. You know that, right? You are way more powerful than you think. May you never have to fully exercise all of that power, but know that if the time came to the occasion as a leader. You got that? Good. You're going to powerfully sleep now. Powerfully rest. And tomorrow, who knows, you may have a profound impact on another person's life in the most beautiful way. Go back to sleep. I'm always here.